So friends, let's continue with integration. But before we move directly into the basic formula and the various formula associated with integration, let us basically uh, scan through or skim through what we have on the anvil. Yeah. All right. So what is integration? We said that so many things we did about integration. A one aspect of integration we said is that it is breaking up the space under a curve into the tiniest possible intervals and then summing up the small areas of all those rectangles. Also, we said that integration is the reverse of differentiation. Now, we are also going to take up some basic formulae, <coughs> which we will take up now. Basic formulae, just as we had a few basic formulae for derivatives, we have also basic formulae for integration. Uh, then we have special variable, which is basically the same basic formulae involved. But in case the variable is not x, but a kind of a function based on x, how do the same formula get modified into special variable is what we'll be taking up. Then we'll be taking up the concept of actual substitution. In actual substitution, <coughs> we'll come across cases wherein we may have to substitute the variable x, any function of x itself as another variable t. And accordingly, how does the integral change accordingly? We'll be taking up examples based on that. When the entire function is a little complex, it's a combination of two or more functions together. In such cases, we normally concern ourselves with the concept of actual substitution. <laughs> now, integration by parts, uh, we'll be taking up in case when we have the product of two functions and then it may not be possible to do by actual substitution, then we have integration by parts. There is a specific formula for integration by parts. <clears throat> that is, suppose you have to find the integral of u v dx, then accordingly we have formula which is going to be u into v dx and d by dx of u and integral of v dx and the integral of this particular product. So this is a formula we call it as integration by parts. Then we'll be taking up part special case also. Lots of special cases we'll be taking up in this case uh, on the same kind of integration by parts. Then you have partial fractions. Partial fractions happen in case of 1 upon suppose x plus 1 into x plus 2. How do we do? How do you find the integral of this? So we will Convert this this way as a upon x plus 2 plus b upon x plus 1 or a upon x plus 1 and then try to simplify this and equate the expression with 1 and find the values of a and b so that you get two simple linear uh, functions which can be converted into this. Then you have certain formulae for special substitution which are based, we got a list of formulae based on we have functions of say x square 1 upon x square minus a square dx and various varieties which we shall touch upon when we come over there. Then definite integration is going to be summing up all these things. Now in a general integration, as I told earlier, it's basically area of a curve like this. Now we don't know where the curve begins, where the end. So it is an indefinite integration. But the same thing, if you specify the domain from say a to b then the same thing how do you find the area of it so it's basically we have to use the same concept of integration along with coupling with some formula associated with definite integration and then substitute the value of b and a and then hence we'll be able to find the area of the curve in this particular domain and that is what is called definite integration. Definite integration means the value of the integral for a definite domain. That is that for a definite range of x. Then, then of course, there are properties of definite integration and examples based on definite integration. So friends, these are the topics that we are planning to cover. Now, don't get baffled by this entire list and the lots of problems out here. We'll take it, take these ones as they come. Please do not worry about it. General opinion about integration that it is very tough, but trust me, once you start picking up, you won't feel like putting the pen down. You're bound to enjoy it. And since it is very closely related to uh, differentiation, once you start going about it, you'll find it pretty easy. And 
my uh, advice and my very strong uh, point of view is that as you keep on practicing these things, all the formula that we are going to use will become like inhalation and exhalation for you. So please do not get baffled with this entire list. We are bound to touch these problems and as we keep doing problems, you will find that you don't even have to memorize the formula. You just have to see that you keep applying the formula. Now, after this property is definite integration, we may just touch upon a few miscellaneous topics just as a kind of revision of this and also a reminder of how we use the concept of slopes in case of uh, differentiation. We know that the, suppose there is a function y, then dy by dx itself is the slope of the curve at a particular point. Based on that, just to remind us that, that of that particular concept, there will be a few, a couple of questions based on that so that we are able to provide a completion to the whole concept of both integration and differentiation. So, this is what we have. So, let's take up the basic formulae and see how we can apply. And of course, as I've always been telling you, always keep a paper and a pencil in hand so that anytime you need to work on something, just take a little bit of pause and work and then get back to us. So without much of a fuss, let's go further.